are on the road again. Oh, again. Uh, on the road, but we're in Mike's truck, so uh, we are heading where, Mike? We are gonna go check out Cidercade Arlington. That's right, that's right, a little uh, arcade tour. We haven't been on an arcade tour in a while, so I thought we'd do a video today. Neither one of us been to Cidercade Arlington, uh, which is far overdue, you know? I like to go to these things when they open. Uh, and check them out and we've just been so busy lately so uh, very excited we hope to play some great games today get some good cider and uh, probably eat somewhere in the local area there what are you looking forward to mike uh lemon meringue pie if they have it that's a uh, cider huh it's cider All right. yeah. i used to get the uh, mango habanero i believe mm, that's a good one too that's yeah. a good one so yeah. uh all right, time for some midday drinking. I'm excited. Let's go play some games. We're gonna eat at Joe's Radiator Service. Service. <laughs> Literally, this is where we were heading, and I pa and we passed by. I'm just uh, thinking that we <laughs> it was not Can Rosso. <laughs> now this is pretty cool. I mean, you could technically walk over to the cider cave from yeah, here. It's a really nice place. Oh, that's neat. Oh man, look at this. It's amazing. This looks fantastic. What'd you get, Mike? I got a uh, sausage and a Caesar. All right, I think I just got the house salad and pepperoni and I'm ready to eat. Well, this place is really nice. We've been to the one in Fort Worth, but I have never been to this one. So that's kind of kind of cool, great view. Awesome. Yeah. Time to eat. Wow, look at this. What, this way, buddy. Sorry. Where you going? Where you going? How long that building is. For some reason, I was thinking that the front door was that way, but it's right here. Yeah. Well, you can't beat the location. They got a college right down the road. Mm -hmm. They have a taco bar across from it, and that pizza place that we just ate at, the Cane Rosso. So it was amazing. It was great. So, I don't know, Mike. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty doggone good. So, here we go. I got other stuff too. There's an axe throwing place right there. Place to work out. You can go over there to Dino Rock and Rock Climb. I mean, this is a nice little entertainment center. Look like they're building houses over there. Look at these cool uh, <laughs> gavel door handles. It's pretty fun. Welcome to Sun, kitty. Where do we check in? Probably over here. Nice artwork. Pretty neat. Can't wait. Okay, I got me a cider. I just set it down. I just did a little pre-walk through before I started this video. And uh, this is one of the coolest arcades I've ever been to. Let's just call it what it is. If you're in Arlington, you need to come to Cybercade Arlington. This is a pretty amazing place. Let's check it out. I'm gonna give you a walk-in tour here. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a long video, so uh, they got a lot of games. They got some really cool stuff. So they got some stuff I've not seen in any other arcades. Uh, so let's check it out. Let's see what we can find. So right when you walk in the door, you have the press start, enter here to begin. You're gonna see a theme of like actually really pretty neat artwork and it all seems pretty custom to Cider Cave. Right off the bat, four cruising blasts. I mean that's amazing, right? Right out of the gate, four cruising blasts. Then they also have four dirty drivings, which I love it. It's a great game. A little uh, the skull shifter on there, that is fantastic. And then right in the corner over here, let's go jungle. So one of the things that is slightly, and I mean, this is a very small knock. The place is beautiful. They're letting a lot of natural light in. At night, I imagine it looks a little bit different than the daytime, but uh, that'd be my only knock on it. It's just some of the screens I can't see. But other than that, we're talking like 
Chef's Kiss for an arcade. In the comments after you see this whole video, and don't skip around, because you can't do that. In the comments, write a game they don't have. That, that's, that's the goal here, because I've seen just about everything. Got a Darius Burst, a fantastic game. Big Buck Reloaded. Here's Golden Tea Live. Time Crisis 5. Transformers Alpine Racer. Turn back this way. A nice area to set your drinks on. Over here we have one of my favorite games, the uh, football. The two minute drill. Connect four. Four lanes of a new ski ball. Four basketball hoops. And they, people have been on them all, all the whole time I've been here. Over here, getting into some vintage stuff, we have Area 51 Max Sports, Big Buck Hunter, Karnov, Zero Point. Got an indie game here, Death Ball, really fun game. An original Williams Joust. And we're just gonna take this cove right here. Two Killer Queens, guys. Y'all know how much Killer Queens cost. Having two of them is pretty amazing. I can tell you that right now. We have one at the Starship. Let's bounce. And then this guy here just blows you away. They have the brand new Fast and the Furious Arcade. This is with the moving seats. It's got the air ride suspension on there. It's really cool. Well, let's see these girls kick it off real quick. See what it looks like. When you see these seats moving, it is really a pretty cool game. Got the quad monitors. Uh, well, I thought we were going to see them moving. They may have. Oh, there they go. Is that not awesome? You gotta love that. Step Maniacs and Down the Clown over there. We have the Aliens here. This is Aliens Covenant. It's just a reskin of Aliens Armageddon. Walking Dead. These little guys are killing zombies. This is the one Guitar Hero. They actually have two of them. Go down this little row here. Stargate. You got Galaga. I think I saw two of these. Target Terror Gold. Metro Cross. This old Mike Murray. Hi, hi, hi. Hey. This is awesome. What, what is that one? This is Lemon Meringue. Oh, yeah. That's what I got too. Pretty good. Pretty good. Got Monopoly here. That is super cool. I miss Pac-Man. I want to get another shot. All right, we got the new Pac-Man Battle Royale Championship Edition. I'm going to get another shot of Down the Clown here. And the Step Maniac. So they got your dance game. They got your Dynamite Cop. A Turbo Street Fighter or Hyper Street Fighter 2. Hyper Fighting. They get so confused. They made so many Street Fighter names. Justice League and Heroes United. I, mean, I almost butchered that name about six times. I haven't played this. I'm gonna check that out. On the end here, a World Series Baseball. That is really cool. And then, I mean, this place just keeps going on. I'm gonna talk about some of the physical games. They have their own custom ping pong table set up here in these cages, which is pretty neat. They have two of those. And then they have a game around the corner here that I've never seen before. We've got a Terminator Salvation. Familiar with that one, we have that one. Another Guitar Hero. A Super Checks Hockey. Also a Pong. This is the IRL Pong. If you haven't seen one of these before, it's really, really neat. Yeah, it has uh, the, the physical cube moving around. So, a lot of people never even seen this game. Pretty cool. There is a soccer pool table here. And I saw four guys just going at it earlier here. And, uh, you know, obviously you're wanting, a, you're wanting all your strikes and solids to go in. I'll throw, I'm going to throw them a couple more balls here. Give them, give them something else. Uh, 
some of these balls got out of the arena here. But how cool is this? I mean, that is so neat. That's just so cool. This giant pool table. You can't beat that. Let's go along this wall here. Got a golden axe. I swear to you, it's the second golden axe I've seen. You'll have to look in the comments. Silkworm, Dynamite Duke. I can't tell you I've ever even seen this game. It's in a uh, track and field cabinet. Double Axle, this is a game we have for the new play. Now, the one, like I said, the one problem I have with these is these games are hard to play during the day. At night, this is fine and it's beautiful because you get this nice view out here. But during the day, it's tough to play these games. Rock and Bolorama, great game. Never seen Fishing Time before. That's pretty cool. Dark Escape 4D. Now they have it this 2D. They haven't they don't have all the functions and it's not dark. They don't have the shade here. Friction. Super Contra. Never see this one out. I mean this is Contra alone is tough to find these days. Uh, Raiden Fighters. A make tracks. You don't see a lot of make tracks. Here is an alien in a Data East cabinet. We have our aliens in a Data East cabinet. This one has all the original artwork, which is kind of fun. Heavy barrel. Uh, rotary joysticks. It does move this way and also this way. If y'all haven't seen that, guys, that's a, pretty cool. A bubble bobble. It's in a dynamo cabinet, but they've done some good. They made it feel like it's dedicated, for sure. Junior Pac-Man, a fun game. Thief. And... Lane Masters, this is cool. You got a small, small balls here, and you get to roll them in. Grab one real quick. Just like that, that's how it works. Pretty cool. I'm gonna hit this corner over here. So over in this area, Again, they got a nice big custom art display. Great lights from the ceiling that come down on these. I love these lights. I'm totally gonna look for these lights. I need them over my foosball table. They have pool tables. You can check out the balls with your ID. And uh, we're gonna go to this back corner here. This place is huge, guys. Carnival King. A little shooting game over here in the corner. Another golden axe. I knew they had two golden axe games. Gone fishing. I've never seen gone fishing. Uh, I've never, I never even heard of it. It looks like a pretty simple little game, but pretty fun looking. How great is that? Gondomania. Another game you never see. This has a rotatable sticks as well. Dig Dug. Nastar Warrior, this is, I believe, the sequel to Roston. Yeah, you get two player it, look at that. Let's come back and play that. Mach 3, here's a laser disc game. This kid is loving it. I love that, that's so cool. I've not seen a working Mach 3. I don't know if I've ever seen a working Mach 3. Karate Champ, a rare game here in Three Stooges. You don't see this one come up very often. All right, I'm gonna take out this line, this row here. Here's Robin Hood. I've only seen this game for sale once or twice. It's relatively new. Uh, I don't know when it came out, but it's got this cool crossbow here. That's neat. Oh, look, there's Mike. Mike's playing a little pinball. We playing, oh, little Star Trek. Of course he's playing Star Trek. He loves Star Trek. We have Xevious. Oh, that's a great game, yeah. Robotron. Dragon Slayer 2. Wow, that's a rare one. Double Dragon. Virtual Striker. Gorf. Upscope. Wow, look at this, guys. Let's look in there. How cool is that? It's a uh, Periscope arcade game. Let's take a quick view of that. I don't know that I've seen this. I want to say Richard may actually have that. 
and I'm not positive. Up here we got a four player X-Men. And then here we go, we get into an Exidy game here in Cheyenne. You don't see too many Exidy games getting used here. You got the big rifle. And uh, look at that, how cool. Cheyenne, we got Super Pac-Man. Mike made a great Super Pac. That's such a cool cabinet. Old Super Pac. I love the, the silhouette, the cutout of his mouth here on the side is really cool. Ladybug in an a, a old school Dynamo cabinet. It's got Universal, Century, and a Dynamo sticker on the side. So I don't know what cabinet that is now that I'm looking at it. Police Trainer 2. Area 51, Site 4. This is the sequel to Area 51 here. They had that Area 51 max course up there. All right, here's a game. All right. I'm a little jealous. This is a silly game. We have the board set for this, and this cabinet looks great. Uh, it actually kind of looks like a Paperboy cabinet, if I'm not mistaken. And it's got survival arts in it. It's either the Paperboy or Championship Sprint. This is a Sammy fighting game. But man, it looks really dedicated. The way it's built out. It's funny it's in that cabinet. It's got these big sprites, this big goofy Mortal Kombat clone is what it is. Locked and loaded, never heard of that game. Here we have a Showtime Blitz and it's down. But don't worry, they have another one, so you can still play it today. They have another, they have the modern rock and bowl rama. This is the one that just came out. If I'm not mistaken, you can sing karaoke on this one. A super monkey ball. Look at this. It's so cool. Okay, this is ticket blitz, a little different. It's got the big, big track ball here, the bananas. That's cool. I was hoping it was the other super monkey ball. Vanguard. Dig Dug, and I can't remember if this is the second Dig Dug we've seen. Ninja Gaiden or Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, you can correct me in the comments, I don't care. Up and down. Circus Charlie. And I don't know if you see it. They've got a really great Nintendo row here. We have you can come on, you can come on through. It's okay. So we have a baby in tow here. Yeah. Good to see you. Alright, versus Dr. Mario. Super Mario, Popeye, Donkey Kong Jr., and Donkey Kong, completing a hell of a Nintendo row. That is greatness. Let's cut through. Look at all these lanes that we haven't even got to. And I'm telling you guys, it goes on and on and on back here. We haven't even got to the pinball. Let's knock out these lanes real quick. We got final lap three. Snow Brothers. I'd love to have a Snow Brothers. A Revolution X, a game I look forever for. We do have that at the Starship now. Contra. Hopefully have one of these coming soon. Last Duel. That's a game you don't see come up very often. I never see that game. Alcon, another game I don't see. This is in a Tempest cabinet here. It was a conversion. Cubert. You gotta have Cubert. If they had all these games and they have Cubert, I'd be like, what is going on? That's pretty cool. The This game is tough to get, guys. This is Snark. And uh, that's great. And, I mean, they have... That's a CRT monitor. It's got to be a computer monitor or something. because It takes a medium-res monitor run, so... Pretty wild-looking monitor in there. But it looks good. I like it. That's really cool. You either play as... Uh, Where's their names at? They got funny names. Oh yeah, Hitman or Max Force. Imagine naming your kid Hitman. Anyway, Shinobi, uh, one of my favorites. A classic here in Shinobi. Tron, a beautiful looking Tron. 10 yard fight. Sinistar, another great game from Williams. Centipede, and I'm not even sure this isn't the second one I've seen. Like, it starts running together. Got Sly Spy. That's actually a pretty hard game to get. I think I have a board set for it. This is in its original cabinet the way it came, I believe. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
I haven't seen Turtles in time. That might be the one Turtles game I haven't seen. Bad Dudes, but they have a whole, they have a brand new Turtles. Gun Force. We have Ladybug. I, it's the second Ladybug. This one's got the really cool artwork. I love that. The Rhythm Nation. Never seen Rhythm Nation. Don't know much about this one. Y'all can tell me about that one if y'all like this game. Carnival. Pretty cool. A classic Tetris. And they have a Sonic the Hedgehog. It's done out really nice. I mean, it looks like a dedicated Sonic. And to my knowledge, Sonic wasn't an arcade game. So. Track and field. And hypersports. You rarely see hypersports. That's pretty cool. A little power lifting going on there. This is amazing. This is Atari's video pinball. And it has some really cool features. It's kind of a telescoping feature. The pinball table is up on the roof there and it's hitting a mirror, but it's a two-way mirror and underneath is a monitor. And look, if you shake the, you shake this, it actually, kind of bumps the ball so you got a little bump there which is super neat let's fire a ball real quick so you can just play in one hand here uh i don't know i'm gonna have to go this other way and uh isn't that cool guys i love this i played it a little bit earlier anyway that is neat you know i've never seen this game in person it's got an owl eyes coin door it looks like an owl when you're looking at it missile command I have a mappy, a nice looking mappy. I like this touch, it's really neat. A good looking mappy. Nice. They put a new marquee, all the marquees are blown out. Here's a Soul Calibur Arcade Edition. Got a little jealousy on this. I would love to have a Soul Calibur in the arcade. People love this game. We've ran it on our Dreamcast before. Akari Warriors, The Rescue, this is part three. Got the big sprites in it. Same rotary stick design. I love the Raw Thrills Jurassic Park. That's really cool. You can't see a, there's a T Rex back there, but you get the idea. You've probably seen this one in other uh, family entertainment centers or in the mall. They also have a Halo Fire Team Raven. This is the kind of game, if you have this in your arcade, it's never going to not get played. It's constantly getting played. So. Alien Storm, if you watch one of our auctions, I wanted to bid on this real bad. It got out of control. I think they paid, you know, upwards of $4,000 for this game, if I remember correctly. But it is good looking, and it is rare. Versus Excite Bike. I love Excite Bike. Millipede. Here's a game you see almost nowhere, Radical Bikers. We actually have one of these. We need to restore it. Rampage, an original Rampage. Look at that. Another centipede. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. That is nice looking. Uh, we have a, a Bally Sente Mini Golf. Rare game, guys. You don't see that very often. Kangaroo. I've always wanted a kangaroo. I just never see this game come up for sale. Some cool, fun artwork on the side, the monkeys. Kangaroo there. Hang on. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Good looking game with the white team holding on that one. Here's a Strata Bowling. Man, look at this, this is so cool. We're just gonna turn it on really quick because I gotta see this. Because look, it has a, a cue ball which you pull out here. And uh, we're gonna try to bowl it. Oh my gosh, that is really neat. I love this effect. Have you seen this, Mike? Uh huh. This is really cool. So it's a bowling game. But also. Isn't that neat? Oh, that's so neat. I don't know how to. I don't know the ball doesn't disappear. Yeah, I don't know. This is tough. I'm trying to get it right down the middle here. Okay, that's got to be down there. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's go! Almost out of strike. Oh, that's awesome. 
We have Devastators. 720. Gotta finish. I have a 720. We gotta finish that. Cut around to this side. This is just one room, guys. We're 20 minutes in. This is just one room. Alpine ski. And I love the blue team molding on Alpine ski. What a pretty look. What I was assault. Mike loves assault. Pretty cool. I don't like these joysticks. I know. Do you see the pictures of the assault I sent you? Yeah. It's yeah. too far up north. No, I haven't just had a chance to deal with it. I'm uh, totally, I got you. All right. Totally going to try for it, though. Yeah, right. Oh, there. yeah. Sorry. There you go. I'm too busy for talking to you. That's all good. So, cool game. I love a skinny cab here. It's really neat. Rostan, one of my faves. Best soundtrack in the game. You'll hear me say that all the time. Here's a game called Gigas. Gigas looks to be a Arkanoid kind of clone. Maybe Arkanoid from Sega. So it's Romstar too. I don't know. But anyway, it's in a Tempest cabinet. I recognize that cab. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, it's totally, yeah. It's me being terrible at Arkanoid is what this is. Let's try one more time. I want to at least get a rebound here. Oh, get one. Let's go. Two, three, and volley and four. Let's go. Five, there's something coming down. I always get sucked into going after little prizes and that's what kills me. All right, Sarge, here's a rare game. This actually has the correct joysticks for the game Mike's playing Assault over there. Sarge is rare. This is a game that uh, Brian Collin did the artwork for. He did the artwork for it. Like Rampage. Uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank. Rampage, Xenophobe, Pigskin Football, Sarge. Arch Rivals, so yeah, those games. Here we got a Batman Forever, but they've reskinned it. So it looks like it has some of the artwork from the Batman console game here and here. And on the side, they got some Dark Knight artwork. They put diamond plating on the edges, so they did a lot of crazy custom stuff. But that's a rare, rare game. It's a beat em up, a Batman beat em up. Psycho Soldier, never heard of it. You played Psycho Soldier, you tell me about it. Pigskin Football, this is a fantastic game. They put some colored LEDs in here, that's pretty cool. Jellico Rally, big run, haven't seen this game. It has some, uh, some little scroll in there, kind of like a Sega game would. Jungle King, Galaga 88. And I told you they had another Blitz in Showtime, so it's because they had one down. They have two of them. It's quite the luxury to have two of something like that. All right, let's go check out Pinball. Y'all ready to check out some Pinball? I mean, they got a heck of a lineup. So we got a new Venom, LE. So we're talking limited editions here. Got a Jurassic Park Premium. Got an Avengers Infinity Quest. It's a great game. I don't know which one this is. Is this the Pro or Premium? Tell me that in the comments below. Guardians of the Galaxy, this is a Pro. Uh, Medieval Madness, this is the remake from Chicago Gaming, if I'm not mistaken. What could be the bad? Uh, I don't know. Might be the Valley with a color DMD. I can't rightly tell. A good, awesome game if you haven't played that. Cactus Jack, that is the remake from Chicago Gaming there. That might be an original Medieval Madness, I'm not sure. Fruit Ninja. And then here is an awesome, awesome attack from Mars. I love the topper. Beautiful. Ninja Turtles, here's a pro. Godzilla. This one's a premium, if I'm not mistaken. It's like the one we have back in Starship. Here's a family guy. This game is just like the Shrek. It has a little mini pinball table in there if you haven't seen that before. Star Trek, great game. 
A Led Zeppelin. It's a Pro Edition Led Zeppelin. Deadpool Pro. Like, again, it's like it's Starship. Striker Extreme, a different soccer game. Looks cool though. X-Men. I love the big toys in X-Men. They got a giant Wolverine, Magneto, Cyclops. Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. And Elvis. We were offered at Elvis not too long ago. Stern Elvis. That's pretty cool. And Toy Story. Got to play this recently at IAPA. It's an Ellie here. Go to their back row here. Got a Guns N' Roses LE. Love Guns N' Roses. Fun, fun, fun game. Monsters. You don't see a lot of monsters anymore. I, very rarely do I see this game pop up for sale or anyone having it. And that's uh, really cool. That's an LE. Ellie means limited edition for all you non-pinball buyers of Stern products out there. The Star Wars, there's another limited edition, Mando with the mirrored back glass, really nice. Not a lot different on the inside. It's got signatures on it, Brian Eddy signature. And it does have some uh, really cool side blades here, art blades. Spider-Man. And Big Buck Hunter. On this side, we got a uh, Lucy ACDC. Love ACDC. That's a fun game to play. That's really cool. Iron Maiden. A Black Knight. Always fun. Shrek. A Ghostbusters. And an Elvira. Wow. And that's pinball. So they got a great shooting game section here, too. House of the Dead, Gunblade, LA Machine Guns. These games that remind me, they're just the same as, right? They have the giant guns on them. Swarm, that's a global VR game, and Fear Frightland, or Fright Fearland, I'm getting that backwards. I haven't played either one of those. I've always liked the Sega Ocean Hunter. I like anything that's kind of ocean themed though, so I'm a sucker for that. Water fountains, <laughs> second set of restrooms, and we got some more classics back here. I know I've seen multiple Galagas. Here's another Galaga. Moon Patrol, great Williams game. Always love the side art on Moon Patrol. Let's check it out. The marquee. There's nothing you can't love about this game. It is really fun. And you're kind of bouncing around. It has that zero gravity effect when they jump. Jump, 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 I say. There we go. Galaga. Can't have too many Galagas. Galaxian. I like that they're side by side so people can say, like, know the difference. It's really cool. Here is a Crystal Castles. This is a conversion, I believe. Yeah, it used to be a Missile Command. Last Duel, another game you don't see too many of. Rough Ranger. Never, ever heard of Rough Ranger. <laughs> it's pretty cheese. Frogger. And a Sega Turbo. This is the Cabaret Sega Turbo. I always love the uh, team molding on these Sega Turbos. Really cool game. Then back here, and this area is great. They have a shuffleboard, more artwork, a whole back bar. And you know on a Saturday night, this place is just popping. Plenty of tables and benches, lots of seating. And they have like the big shuffleboard, guys. They have a little big area just for shuffleboard. And uh, that's pretty amazing custom shuffleboard area and that's that's tough okay? ain't no other arcades got room for something this big and if they ever just got tired of this they can just expand put more games in <laughs> great shot of the bar again 
Come here. Now, I haven't seen the other party rooms, but this is six, so I'm guessing they have at least six party rooms. And these are really pretty neat. You know, plenty of space to get done what you want to get done. If you're throwing a birthday party or whatnot. Now, party room four looks much bigger. That's big. You know, a big old room. A really cool work of like the pipe work where the lights come out of. Really neat. Lots of places to sit down. You gotta love that. Here's a really cool neon hallway that changes color. And I'm glad we got here before they took all the Christmas stuff down. I like to see all the Christmas stuff. So here we are, a whole nother room. Now this is more of a fighting game area, which I love. You know, I love my fighting games. Got our Marvel Super Heroes versus Street Fighter, the beautiful monitor. A Street Fighter Alpha 2. Marvel vs. Capcom looks like it's down right now. Street Fighter Alpha 3. An X-Men vs. Street Fighter. They have all the versus games, like right here. Uh, Marvel Super Heroes. Here's some Mai Mai's or Mei Mei's. Y'all can make fun of me in the comments below because I always get the name wrong on these. Now they have all these, these square multi-designs, which is a cabin. I have one of these at the Starship. Uh, looks like they're running Mortal, the new Mortal Kombat on this one. This is uh, Mortal Kombat 1. Looks like on this one, Street Fighter 6, on both of these. Actually, these are connected. That's fantastic. You can sit here and play Street Fighter 6. Love that. And here, it looks like we got a Tekken. Now, this is probably Tekken 7. And they're a dual game, so you can play each other. Got a Sound Voltex and a UB. Familiar with those guys? There's just a mirrored glass. This goes in that party room there. Batman Battle Royale Championship Edition. They had a big one out there. This is a smaller one. A beautiful Daytona USA, the first game. Love that twin cab with the topper there. They have the Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man Galaga. And uh, Neo Geo 4 slot with uh, Metal Slug 5, King of Fighter, 1945 Plus, Super Sidekicks 2. And let's continue on with the more fighting games. And they've done really something nice here. Put all the mid big Midway cabinets together. So, WrestleMania, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, Killer Instinct 2, and Killer Instinct 1, and Tekken 3. This one's in a Mortal Kombat 2 cab, but you gotta love Tekken 3. And they have a dedicated Tekken 5. Love that. On the end here, they have a three banger. This is kind of the uh, pit fighter style cab. Aliens versus Predator. How cool is that? And another great Nintendo row. Ho versus Hogan's Alley. Versus Duck Hunt. Versus Gumshoe. RBI Baseball versus Top Gun and versus Castlevania. Gotta love that. Over here, we got another back to back Neo Geos. On this cab, we got Baseball All Stars, All Stars, can't talk. World Heroes 2, Art of Fighting, Art of Fighting 2. I mean, World Heroes 2, Art of Fighting 2, it must have moved. I cannot speak. I've talked too long. So here's a global arcade classics. This is like a multi-cade here. I press to start. And it's really cool because it's got a great, it's almost like a main system, but it's not. It's one that's put out. You can play all these great games all in one cap. This would be so cool. This is cool for something at home, or if you just can't find a game, you can cycle through one of these and see what you find. Another, another uh, dancing game, Pump It Up, 20th Anniversary Edition. Little seating area here. Another Area 51, Maximum Force. And then this game here, tri I believe. Never seen it, don't even know what it is. Check it out. Press Start, Button to Start. 
It's gotta be a shmup of some sort, right? All right, all right, let's get to it. I wanna see that it, I'm right. Yep, it is. Really cool. Wow, that's awesome. All right, two tigers. This is a uh, Valley Midway game. It's like a Tron conversion. Or at least it's in a Tron cabinet. Scramble. Love Scramble. Four player Spider Man. We might be having a four player Spider Man come out pretty soon. Phoenix. P47 Phantom Fighter. Tiger Heli. Remember, I took apart that Hubert had Tiger Heli in it. Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. Look at these guys' faces. They're ready to rock. They're just wishing they were Double Dragon. That's it. They're wishing they were Bimmy and Jimmy or whoever. Spike. I forget what they called him on the game. Spike and Hammer. Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. See, they, have, they don't have their names. I was hoping they had their names on this. I'm thinking Spike and Hammer, or Bimmy and Jimmy. <laughs> Black Tiger, that's cool. Love the classic Capcom uh, like logo there. Oh, Pit Fighter. Victory Road, this is one of the sequels to Atari Warriors. I love these games when I was a kid. They were so cool to me. We have a Simpsons. Now this is not your regular Simpsons cabinet. This is from Australia, I believe. Like the Australian version of this cabinet. So it's kind of a rare Simpsons. I think you can see the little logo there. I believe that's Australia. That's neat. Over here, Arknoid. Gotta have an Arknoid. Good decor up here. I love the neon lights. Overall, the vibe is super cool. Caveman Ninja. Express Raider. Street Fighter 2. New Challengers. Space Firebird. I'm getting tired, guys. Raiden. Raiden. Altered Beast. And nice bright monitor. Final Fight. Ninja Baseball Batman. There's a rare one. This is like a dedicated cabinet. Really cool. I think this is custom, but I like it a lot. This moon. I love arcade artwork, guys. So fun. Battle Arena Toshin Din 2. So I didn't know this came out in the arcades. I thought this was just a PlayStation game. Kind of a cool 3D fighter. Cabal. Mega Man, the power battle. Ionic Commando. And then some great seating areas over here. And the back half of that shuffleboard. And I think we just got two more sections and we're finished. I can actually play some games. So, we got some air hockey over here. We got three different tables of air hockey. We got four Mario Kart GP DXs. So you can four player it. It's super cool. Got the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think, and I hope I didn't miss anything. I want y'all to have a complete tour here. I think this is the last row and it's got some really neat stuff on it. Got Zaxxon. Next on on the end cap. Let's check out some side art. Star Trek Vector. That's a Sega's ve color vector. Star Trek. That's a fun game. My favorite. Star Wars. Love that. Maybe I'll put a high score on that thing. Tempest. And we got a black and white vector here in Asteroids. And Stargate. 
Woo. That's an arcade tour, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to play some games and uh, we'll close up. Amazing. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Mike, what'd you think of Cidercade Cider Arlington? Cade, Bishop Cider. I tell you what, I really, really liked it. It's uh, big. It's big. big. Very big. Um, they have multiple, like, like they. I think I counted two, maybe three ladybugs. I can't remember. Right, yeah. Like, Definitely two. I like, saw two. Maybe if it goes down, it doesn't matter because it's another right, one. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. What a cool, what a cool feature for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any favorite game you see in there? Oh my gosh! Well, you know I'm in love with the Fast. We didn't get to play it because it was so busy. But the big giant Fast and Furious. Yeah, the big giant amazing. Fast and Furious was cool. Yeah. Yeah, this is a big place, guys. You want a nice big arcade? You can kind of spend all day at. Yeah. This is a good one for sure. Uh, I really liked. I'm blinded by the sun. I'm like a pirate. Only one eye here. <laughs> Come out of a dark arcade. It's not dark enough. I wish it was a little darker with some shade. But other than that, I loved it. You a little know, cooler, had, little cooler. A little cooler. A <laughs> little cooler. Yeah. Uh, they had pretty much any kind of game you'd want to play. That weird soccer pool table thing that you could stand in and play was really, really yeah, cool. That was um, I liked uh, a lot of those physical games like that. It had ping pong, which you don't see at a lot of places. A big shuffleboard area. Uh, plenty of drinks. You know, it's a lot like the other cider cage. Now, this one doesn't have food, but there's food everywhere around it, so why would it? And there's not even a reason to have the kitchen unless they force you to have one for the alcohol, which apparently they don't here in Arlington. So, anyway, that's Cider Cave uh, Arlington video tour right so now you can see all the games they have and it's a full tour here so uh if you like this kind of content remember to like and subscribe and uh, i'll just keep trying to put it out for you guys uh, y'all have a wonderful day and watch us more here on youtube